Hey, I don't know if you've got one of these hanging around your house, but if you don't and you have a couple of Macs, you can't live without one. It's an Apple Time Machine. They've been around for a long time. Apple stopped making them a long time ago as well. But you can find little guys like this online for about 20, 25 bucks used that work perfect. They've got a couple of different ethernet ports on the back, all one gigabit. And today what we're gonna do is upgrade this unit from 500 gigabytes all the way up to beautiful two terabyte drive. So come along for the journey, let's see what happens. All right, let's get started here. First thing we're gonna do is heat up this back little rubber cover so that we can uh, pry it off with minimal impact or tearing. bit warm peeling off so easy though you can see on camera here much easier to peel this away these things are pretty cool they've got a integrated Wi-Fi router inside of them so it's just a a regular wireless router access point for your own home network. Now technology's moved on a little bit further and uh, you can get a better router, but the value in these pieces is definitely, definitely the backup storage inside for your Mac. It's all automatic through Time Machine, makes easily restoring uh, a file or a folder um, just cake. Almost into this thing here. Heat gun made easy work for this. Perfect. All right, we're in. Awesome. Next steps, we got a couple of Phillips screws that we need to pull out of here. fix-it toolkit. Alright, we're in. And go ahead and disconnect the fan for a hot minute. Set this aside. See, we've got a power supply. Our set of hard drive here. What we're gonna do next is just pull out this hard drive, swap over our connectors, put our new drive in. Be careful with this temperature sensor here so we can transition it over to our next drive. Drive just kind of sits down inside. You see, it's just a standard SATA interface. What we'll do here is we're going to transition these four pins into our new hard drive. Slightly smaller bit. Tight. My 
need to grab a pair of pliers to get this one out. I think I probably stripped it a little bit. Try a slightly bigger bit again. No deal. Be right back. Old drive out, new drive coming in. And then once we have this new drive in, back into the time capsule and all reassembled, uh, what we're gonna do is hook it back up to our network, turn it on, and we're gonna open up the airport utility to get our drive formatted and ready for backups. Place our new drive back in here. Look up our SATA power. Our SATA data. Make sure we've got our temp sensor here back in its little housing and we'll just drop it right there double check our odds and ends We're looking good we we'll grab our top cover here and then what we'll do is we'll put our plug our fan back in nice and gently so we don't damage any board connectors carefully push the lid back down and now we'll go ahead and we'll put our Phillips screws back in and we'll be all set. All set, back together, ready to power on. All right, next what we're gonna do here is we're gonna hook this time capsule back up to our network. I'll plug in our ethernet cable. You'll notice here, we've got one with a slightly different symbol and that's for your gateway, so your, your router connect, or sorry, your modem connection. I'll power this bad boy on. See the amber light come on? Perfect. And it's gonna stay amber until we get it all set up though. Now that we've got our time capsule plugged into our network, the easy part is next. All we're gonna do is go to Launchpad and we're gonna go launch the airport utility. You can see here that we found our Apple time capsule and it needs some love. So we've got a yellow light here or an amber light notifying us that, hey, we've got some issues here that need to be prepared or taken care of. Uh, so let's get them done. We're going to go to edit, go to disks first, and let's do erase this disk. Erase it. Absolutely sure we want to kill everything on it. You can see now, all right, we're erased. All right, now we're moving forward. Let's go ahead and update the firmware here. Excellent, so now we've restarted, and let's see what our warnings are. Just ethernet and an internet connection. We had some issues with the time capsule saving the settings. So what I went and did was just did a factory reset, held in the small little 
button on the back of the time capsule here so that we could factory reset it. All right, let's set this thing up differently. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, good deal. Our new name shows. Awesome, and now we got a green light. Excellent, you can see now we've got a refresh local IP. Network is off, our settings carried over. We've got updated internet. Wireless network is off. We're operating in bridge mode. All set. Next thing we'll do, let's go over to system settings and let's pull up time machine so that we can back up to our time capsule. You can see now we've got our airport disk on timecapsule.local. Let's set it up, let it connect. Enter in our password that we used when we set it up. Enter in another super secret password. And let's see. Now you can see we've got our two terabyte disk available. We're going to do our first encrypted backup here. All right, we're going to start backing up here any minute. All right, here we go. All right. Perfect. Follow back up here once we get fully backed up. Here's the magic of the Apple Time Capsule and Time Machine product. So up here, uh, we've got a little time machine or kind of like a little clock icon. If you click it, we can back up now. It'll tell you when your Macintosh was last backed up. Uh, but today what we want to do is browse time machine backups. So this would be something super, super handy if you're saving files on a desktop or saving files in folders and maybe you accidentally delete a file or overwrote a file, lost a file somehow. You can see though we've got this time capsule set up or time machine set up to take a snapshot every hour um, so what we can do is we can kind of just go back in time and obviously I haven't made any changes to what's on my desktop for the most part um, at one point I rearranged or renamed this folder added the folder and you can see no folder and then yesterday at 1135 I've got a source clips folder here on my desktop um, so it's as easy as just stepping into the folder and then uh, what we can do then is just drag and drop them or click one to restore uh, to its original location. Very, very powerful software. Great, easy, simple way to back up your Mac at home. Earlier we noted that the time capsule can be used kind of as a network attached storage device. A really cool piece is it's just totally seamless. So if you open up your Finder here in your Mac, we're just here hanging out on the desktop. You'll notice over here on the left-hand side, it shows up here under Time Capsule. Whatever you name your Time Capsule, it will show up like this. You can see that we've got an airport disk available, and this MacBook Pro Sparse Bundle is your Time Machine backup of your device. The cool piece is, is we can pop in here and we can do a new folder. And then we can drag and drop and add anything into this folder and access it from other Macs on your local network as well. Great way here to add some storage to your local network, easily accessible from all of your Macs on your local home network.